Welcome to Frederick County Public Library's Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. From September 15th to October 15th, we will be celebrating the contributions and culture of Hispanic Americans through a variety of virtual programs. Thank you for joining us. Today is going to be a really yummy treat. So yummy that you've probably already had it. That's right, it's guacamole. Cilantro can be found in bunches at the store. For this guacamole recipe, you will only need about 20 cilantro stems. Cut the stems in half, then chop the leaves in stems. Then we will go back and finally chop the cilantro by rocking the knife across the cilantro. Now we are going to dice one onion. Start by cutting off the stem and root. Then cut the onion in half and remove the skin and first layer. This horizontal cut does not go all the way to the end, so the onion will not fall apart as you dice it. This vertical second cut also does not go all the way through. And now we can finish dicing the onion with this last cut. We will only need about one third cup of the diced onion. The rest can be saved for another dish or perhaps another serving of guacamole. We are taking one clove of garlic and smashing it for our guacamole. Take the flat part of your knife with the sharp edge facing away from you and lay it on top of your garlic clove. Using the palm of your hand, smash the garlic once or twice, then finally chop the garlic by rocking your knife across it a few times. For the jalapeno pepper, we are going to cut off the stem. Then, using the flat surface we just created, we can sand the jalapeno pepper and cut it down the middle. Since the membrane and seeds are what provide the most heat, we will cut the jalapeno pepper pieces in half again and remove the membrane and seeds for a more mild guacamole. Now that we have removed the membrane and seeds from the jalapeno pepper, we can go ahead and chop it into matchsticks. Then we can line up these matchstick cuts and dice them. These tiny cherry tomatoes are easy to cut and add to our guacamole. You can take the cherry tomatoes and cut them in half, then cut each of those pieces in half again. One more cut and then these tomatoes are ready for our guacamole.
We've almost got all our ingredients ready, but the most important one still needs to be prepped, the avocado. Using a dish towel, hold an avocado in your hand, then slide the knife into the top of the avocado until you feel the seed, and slowly rotate the avocado until all the sides have been cut. Twist the avocado halves to separate. Keeping the dish towel in your hand, hold the avocado half with the seed still in it. Using your knife, make a chopping motion to get the avocado seed on your knife, then twist to remove the seed from the avocado. To remove the seed from the knife, do not reach under the blade, but pinch above the seed to push it off the knife. Using a spoon, scoop out your avocado and place into a bowl. Now it's time to combine all your ingredients into a bowl. You can decide how chunky or smooth to make your guacamole. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's program on how to make guacamole at home. Stay tuned for a future program on how to make some tortilla chips, a perfect combination to go with your guacamole. Thank you for watching today's virtual program and we hope we'll see you soon.